Hi, good morning. This is Andrew from Green Circle Realty and we're here again in Ask Andrew. This is this is a Facebook live session where we answer everything and anything about your home ownership journey. So uh if you were wondering, we started our our Facebook live this early um simply because uh, we have uh, well, we we have clients from other countries, na ibang time zone. So, more or less, yung ganito oras is pauwi na sila, and uh, probably they are free to watch videos. So, I'm extending this Facebook Live uh, session for those uh, OFW who are who have questions about their home ownership journey. So. We're still waiting for others to join our Facebook Live. So, uh, but for the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and share. I'm gonna share my uh, Facebook Live in my personal account. Uh, face Facebook personal account. Hold on. So, while I'm doing that, come sit I mean, um. Have you been still searching for houses? Nagani pa rin pa buhay ng bahay? Um, or may mga tanong pa rin po kayo sa paghanap yun ng bahay? Yeah, this is this is the perfect time for you to ask questions about anything and everything about your home ownership journey. So ngayon, uh, wait lang po. I'm just sharing my video to my personal account. Alright, posting it. Okay, there. And then I'm probably gonna post this to one of uh, Facebook group. Uh, let's just paste this really quick. So again, uh, for those who just uh, tune in sa Facebook Live na then, um, if you have questions in your home ownership journey, please, uh, yeah, send your comments down below here in this video para matupungan natin kayo, okay? Alright. So, let me just share this to two more, more groups now. Okay. Wait long. Just post this. Uh, okay, so I share it one more time. I think. So again, for those who are watching this year. Uh, na, napapanood to ngayong umaga or for those OFW watching this uh, ngayong gabi good evening and good morning so again this is uh, our Facebook live session where we answer anything and everything about uh, your home ownership journey and then of course while we wait for others to uh, to join in our Facebook Live, um, we will discuss some important uh, topic about your home ownership journey. And I'm sure 
uh, na makakatulong sa inyo in finding your dream home. Okay? So, isa na lang po i-share ko to and then, then let's see. Uh, pag may mag-join na, we will start our question and answer. Uh, tayo na sa pang group. Okay. Here we go. Okay, isa na lang pa. Wait lang. Sino nga ba yun? I think someone is... Uh, I think we just have one more... Um, one more group to post this Facebook Live para at least uh, makita ng iba itong Facebook Live natin. Okay? Tao. Or double house. Post ko lang po ito yung masalilit. Tapos, i-share lang natin nito sa one of my groups. And then, we'll start discussing about our RFO. Okay, type lang tayo. FB Live. Okay. Um so we're back. Uh so RFO. Wait a minute, tanong. Lawrence, kaya lakit ha. <laughs> what is an RFO? RFO means ready for occupancy. So the reason why I I, I uh, made this uh Facebook live session specifically for that question kasi many of our home buyers are looking for RFO. When you say RFO, this is ready for occupancy. So, ibig sabihin, uh, uh, itong bahay na to or condominium na to, house and lot, ready for occupancy, pwede na pong malipatan. So, normally, um, this is perfect for families na, na gustong lumipat agad. Alright? Or siguro yung mga retirees na gusto na uh, sabi natin na small space for them controlled space for them with security and of course for personal use or for whatever reason so ibig sabihin pwede nang tirhan pero how does RFO happens sa, or paano ba nagkakaroon ng RFO to begin with okay well RFO normally I mean ganito muna uh, let's make it clear any developer pag, pag meron sila isang project or some project village whatever um they sell their their properties first na pre-selling 
So habang hindi pa tinatayo on the planning stage pa lang yung ano nito, yung real estate properties, binebenta na nila ito. That we are selling it. The reason why or the reason why they're doing this is because at that point, mababa pa yung presyo, hindi pa ganoon ka <laughs> hindi pa ganoon ka mahal. So So that's how the process goes. So ibig sabihin, binebenta na to before it before it actually being constructed. Okay? So at that point, syempre pag pag meron ng mga buyer ng mga pre-selling units, okay? They of course, yung inventory natin no, na na na, na exhaust na. So so once you buy or if other buyers would like to buy yung mga pre-selling units na yon, slowly but surely, nakakaroon, nauubos yung units. So, by the time na natayo na yung unit, may mga occupants na yun. Although, not 100% siguro, would, ano, would, uh, ano, maaaring hindi pa nabibenta or nabibili yung mga bahay na, or properties na yun. Doon nagkakaroon ng RFO. Nang, after na maitayo yung bahay, after na ma-exhaust lahat ng pre-selling, uh, yung pagbenta ng bahay in pre-selling, doon lang nagkaroon ng RFO. Or, there often times, may mga, siguro, may mga mangilan-gilan na nagba-back out. So, doon, nagkaroon ng RFO. So, that's how you get RFO. So, meaning to say, RFO only happens kapag hindi na benta lahat yung pre-selling units or maring uh, may mga mangilan nila nag-back out. So, that's the only time we open units for RFO. Ngayon, so again, for those who are just watching my video, this is Facebook live session, Ask Andrew. So, this is the time where I answer questions about anything and everything about your home ownership journey. So, if you have questions, you can uh, send your questions in the comment section here. We'll try to answer it as much as possible. So, th the reason why our topic today is RFO, dahil marami po tayong mga, ano, may mga marami tayong mga um, home buyers or inquiries na naghahanap talaga ng bahay na malilipatan na agad. And that is RFO. So, ano nga ba yung advantages ng RFO? Uh, or pagbili ng bahay na, na nakatayo na. So, number one, of course, obviously, units are fully constructed and developed na. As, so, paglipat ninyo or once you do all the paperwork, nabayaran na yung down payment, etc., pwede na kayo makalipat. So, developed na siya. And of course, mostly, amenities are already available. So, for example, dun sa mismo village, meron ng uh, school, hospitals, um, church, uh, commercial units, or job opportunities nandun na. So, amenities are available because nakatayin na yung mga bahay. Okay? But of course, you have to consider na when you're looking for RFO, you have to be uh, very, ano, uh, tawag dito, you have to understand na since nakatayin na siya, it may, may it may come as an expensive property kasi naitayo na yung bahay so more or less number one yun more expensive dahil uh, nag-appreciate na yung value ng ng ano properties doon so again it can be more expensive and value may be may be may have appreciated tapos payment terms so uh, if you're really willing to, to buy and uh, ready for occupancy units, you have to be ready to shoulder much bigger down payment up front. So, it can be between 10 or 20% or more than that. And of course, mas, mas maikli na yung down payment terms normally doon. Kasi nga, nakatayo na, ready to move in na yung mga pwedeng gustong or gustong bumili ng bahay na yun. So, normally they would require much bigger down payment so if you're willing if you're ready or you have the resources na magbigay ng malaking down payment that's okay so you can go for rfo pwede na eh. so you just have to to allow yourself to pay more pag rfo and then of course 
loan takeout is required. What do we mean by that? Because this is how uh, RF. This is how uh, how we buy or process yung yung house and that. Normally, if you don't have cash to pay it, we go to ano, loans. It's either bank, pag-ibig, or in-house. So, kailangan ma-loan takeout muna, meaning dapat mabayaran muna ng financial institution yung house and lot ninyo. So, so for example, banko. So, after you, you pay yung down payment, okay, bank will be, ano nga, loan takeout. Si banko, babayaran niya yung, prop, yung developer. So, once that happens, okay, yun, yun yung isa sa mga requirement doon, bako ka makalipat. And of course, yung multi amortization, of course, still based with terms, kung ano yung terms ng bank or pag-ibig, whatever. So, again, yung payment terms, mas, mas malaki yung payment terms niyan. Okay? It, it, it can take, it, it will require 5 or 10 or 20% na down payment. Tapos, loan takeout. Dapat nabayaran na ni, ni banko or ni pag-iibig yung developer before he can move in. Now, what are, what, are, yung, what are the good things then about ready for occupancy is you can see and visit the actual uh, unit you're buying. So, ibig sabihin, pwede yun nang ma-visit yun so long as uh, uh, nakatayo na siya. Well, kasi yan ang RFO. So, pwede nyo nang, uh, maaaring pwede nyo nang puntahan yun, more or less. And then, ang downside nga lang, when you're, you're um, when you're looking for RFO, there are only handful of units for RFO. Ibig sabihin, hindi na ganoon karami. Kasi, nung nabanggit ko nga kanina, uh, how, dev- how developer uh, operates is that they sell yung uh, yung mga units nila pre-selling. So, more or less, yung RFO na yan, maaaring mga handful na lang or mga tira-tira na lang na unit na hindi pa na ibibenta. So, you have um, uh, lesser options kung anong gusto mong unit or which location ng mga units na yun sa village ang pwede mong mapili. So, konti na lang. Now, uh, what else? Yun, of course, uh, once you're able to move in, uh, it's ready for inspection. Alright? Pwede yun nang i-check yun. And then, and then, uh, and you can move in immediately. So, again, uh, the good thing about, sabi ko nga, good thing about ready for occupancy is that you can already move in. Uh, pwede mo na siyang makita. But of course, uh, much bigger yung uh, payment terms. Mas malaki yung payment terms. Hindi, hindi siya ganun ka-convenient, hindi siya ganun ka, ka-flexible at the same time. Um, yung units, hindi na ganun karami. Only handful of units. Maring tiran na lang yun after nung pre-selling ng, ng ating bahay or ng properties dun sa developer. So again, if you are interested in, in getting and ready for occupancy units or RFO units, you can basically coordinate with any of your sales agent para tulungan kayo. So, time is the essence pag RFO. I forgot to mention. Kasi, RFO, since handful of units lang yan, at maaring marami ding naghahanap yan, so, you have to be ready once an RFO is available. Uh, if the developer mentioned that uh, we have an inventory of RFO, dapat ready kayo. Ready kayo mag, mag-reserve ka agad yun. Otherwise, marami pang nakapila dyan na home buyers na gusto bumili nun. So, you have to be very fast in your decision. Um, say, for example, your, your agent would say na... We have, say, we have a corner unit. Meron kaming typical unit. Ma'am, sir, ano po ba yung gusto nyo dito? Ito bang typical or ito bang, um, ito bang corner unit? You have to be fast in your decision. Kasi it's RFO. So, kung 
if you ha- if, if say sinabi mo na ay pag-iisipan ko muna mo siguro uh, bigyan mo ako ng one week um, you have to expect uh, you have to set the, you have dapat meron kang expectation na maaaring after a week hindi mo na makuha yun okay so decision should be you know, should be fast especially for RFO since marami naghanap niyan so again um This is Andrew from Green Circle Realty and this is Ask Andrew. This is where we answer all of your home ownership journey. If you have questions, you can you can uh, send comments here in this video. We'll try to answer as, as much as possible. So what we did uh, a little later was we're discussing RFO, ready for occupancy units. Kasi we've received a lot of inquiries about ready for occupancy yun nga sabi ng ating mga client dear client na meron po ba kayong RFO well the question is are you ready to shoulder a much bigger payment terms uh, are you ready to be at least not flexible i mean are you ready to be uh, ready to yun nga ready to pay much higher terms comes with payment Um, ready po ba kayo na pumili agad-agad once we have once we have availability so if you are then you're a perfect fit for finding a ready for occupancy unit so um, again if you have questions here you can post your question in my in the comment section of this video para masagot natin agad okay um All right. Now, uh, while we wait here, uh, wait for other questions to come in. Um, I'm inviting you, since inviting you this weekend because we have, well, uh, we have uh, viewing day. Not actually viewing day, but you can view our units in Lancaster, New City, Cavite. If you're looking for a location, okay, uh, near Mall of Asia, malapit sa airport accessible to those two locations and at the same time uh, yung uh, yung area is complete with all the amenities kasi um, what we are uh, selling or what what we are offering to our clients Lancaster New City Cavite one of the uh, pinakamabenta nga yung uh, property sa Cavite because it's right at the smack of of different uh, uh, access road So if you're coming from coming from Manila, you can go, you can you can uh, access us via Cavitex. Or if you're going to sa La- South Area Laguna, we have Calax. Uh, pag sa C5 naman, on go yung C5 South Link, may meron doon ano access road doon. And then from Montilupa, Alabang, we have MCX. And at the same time, if you're going to the airport via Cavitex and then uh, Naia Expressway, it's very accessible. So if you want something, uh, property, something like that, na malapit, accessible to all those transportation, very easy to travel uh, within or outside Metro Manila, yeah, uh, Lancaster is a good buy. And at the same time, um, very secured kasi uh, our, sec- our security is 24 hours within the villages at before you actually enter yung mga villages kasi how how uh, how Lancaster New City has been set up is nakahiwalay po yung commercial at saka yung mga uh, bahay yung mga villages so every time you enter sa dun sa township natin Tadaan muna po kayo doon sa mismong uh, security bago pumasok sa mga villages and within the villages, meron mga security din po doon. So, pag, pagpasok ninyo, kailangan meron kayong uh, per- permission kung kanino man kayo pupunta bago kayo, bago kayo makapasok sa loob. So, it's very secure. If you're, if you're an OFW, you have families here in 
in the Philippines and you want a safe and secure uh, location in Cavite, try, uh, try Lancaster New City, Cavite. Um, kung gusto niyo ng safe para sa pamilya niyo. And at the same time, very convenient then say if you want to to go shopping, grocery, commercial establishment is there. Marami pong commercial establishment po doon para hindi na kayo lumayo. We have Square Mall, we have um, SM Hypermart, and then also, uh, if you're planning to work uh, in an PP or industry, meron po doon Santec Eye Park. Uh, pwede po kayong magtrabaho doon. So, very accessible if you want. I mean, your family wants to work near by. And at the same time, dun sa area po na yun, ay, sorry, gumalo yung, at sa area po na yun, malapit po kami sana sa Evo City. If you're familiar with Evo City or you haven't heard it, imagine Bonifacio Global City. Okay? Nakapunta na po ba sa Bonifacio Global City? It's a commercial establishment, a commercial area developed by Ayala. So, Evo City at the same time is developed by Ayala. So, just imagine yung tons of uh, opportunity, opportunities, business opportunities, employment opportunities area, and yung development area. It's the best deal you can get. Malapit doon. So, Again, meron tayong Santec Eye Park, meron tayong Evo City, location, and then also we have churches in the area. So, meron po tayong Catholic Church. I think we have Christian churches uh, then at the same time. I think we have INC there. So, yeah. So, uh, very convenient to your family kasi the concept of Lancaster University is live. So, quality living uh, yung mga houses na binibigay natin are quality, affordable. Another, uh, live, learn, schools, you know, I forgot to mention, schools are very conveniently uh, nandun na mismo sa, sa mismong uh, location, yung St. Edward. So, ang target is we have, although we have main campus, but we have extension schools, annexes, within the villages. Para yung mga anak po ninyo, pag nag-aaral, syempre, uh, hindi na po lalayo. So, pag, pag, paglabas nila ng village, a few rides, or few walks, maaari pa nga, <laughs> hindi na sila mahirapan. So, yung pagising na, pagising ng mga anak natin sa umaga, hindi na mahirap. You don't need to a lot more time. Kasi, anibawad, kung nandito ka sa Manila, kahit na napakalapit lang ng school mo, um, aabutin ka ng matagal syempre sa traffic so that's one thing live, learn, work yun nga work we have Santec Eye Park we have commercial establishment nearby Evo City and then live, learn, work, play commercial establishment mall, shopping, grocery nandun everything is a one-stop shop in the village dun sa township actually it's not actually a village it's a township uh, it's around 1-6 hectares. Parang kasing laki ng Pasay yung, yung, yung township natin. Kasi I believe Pasay is 1,800 1, hectares. Lancaster New City is 1,600 hectares. Similar to that. Live, learn, work, play, and, and pray. So, school, so churches are very close, nearby sa area. So, you don't have to worry if you need spiritual uh, nourishment. Marami po tayong uh, churches dun sa loob. Okay? So, again, uh, if this is your first time watching my Facebook live session, uh, you can also visit my Facebook page, Hana Bahay sa Lancaster New City, Cavite. Uh, ha- sorry, Hana Bahay sa Lancaster New City, wala Cavite. And then you can message me if you still have additional questions sa sa pag-acquire ng bahay or anything or en- everything about uh, uh, about about your home ownership journey and I have videos there house tour videos if you want to check our houses in Lancaster uh, you, you can go to my Facebook page at the same time if you want full-length videos uh, you can go to my fi- to my YouTube 
channel uh, that's Andrew Ferolino just search my name there check all my house tour videos tips about your home ownership journeys FAQs about uh, acquiring home etc so yun if you can uh, if you have time please visit my website my YouTube channel and then subscribe para you'll get notified sa lahat ng mga updates natin alright so again uh We'll be, you know, we'll be ending this Facebook live session now. Right after this, you can check my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, uh, send me a message, or you can even call me on uh, my cell phone or Viber or WhatsApp this is at 63916-598-5107. Please uh, send me a message there if you still have additional questions, or you can also call me uh, as a... Uh, Viber and WhatsApp ko and my cell phone number. Alright? Um, yan. I think, uh, wait lang. May nag-message sa atin. Tingnan ko lang po, ha? May nagtatanong. Uh, let's see. I have a question here. By the way, if you have additional questions now, please uh, post in the, post in this video sa comment section para masagot agad natin, okay? Alright. Uh, question is, ano daw yung... Yeah, I'll, I'll make it anonymous na lang, no? Um, ano daw yung pinaka-affordable na bahay natin dito sa Lancaster? Oh, that's good. That's a good question. So, pinaka-affordable natin um, around 9,000 to 10,000. So, you can get a townhouse around sa ganung amount. Two-story na siya with at least two bedrooms in uh, one CR. We can, yeah. Ang um, Emma townhouse po natin is around that amount. So, if you're interested, 9 to 10,000 meron na pong dalawang room, bedroom, at isang toilet. And then you have a carport as well. Now, around 10 to 11,000, yung alis po natin, we have three bedrooms for that, and two CRs. Carport, two-story. So, yung pinakamura natin. So, thank you for that question. Ayan. Sige, let's check others. Uh... Okay, how long? Ayan. Question is, how long ba yung payment term? Okay. Um, well, for uh, sorry, for OFW, yung pinaka matagal natin na payment term, halimbawa kung sa bank financing, it's 15 years. So, you got 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. So, tatlo yun. Now, for locally employed, uh, you can go as long as uh, 20 years. So, 5, 10, 15, 20 year payment terms. So, you have those options, okay? So, hopefully, nasagot natin yung tanong na yun. So, how long? OFW up to 15 years. Um, locally employed up to 20 years. Ayan. Uh, let's check another question here. On the PM... Okay. Um, ano daw po yung, ano, yung salary requirement sa salary requirement? Okay. Good question. So, ano yung salary requirement? Normally, um, the way we compute uh, is times 3. So, halimbawa, yung bahay na napili ninyo is 10,000 monthly yung amortization niya. So, dapat, or at least, ang sahod natin is times 3 of that monthly amortization. So, say, 10,000 times 3, it's 30,000, just to simplify. So, halimbawa, kung 20,000 naman yung monthly amortization nyo, uh, 20,000 naman, so, 20,000 times 3, that's 60,000. So, yun po yung 
uh, monthly amortization, and yun po yung salary requirement natin. So, times 3 nyo lang po. So, so magandang tanungin po niyo yung mga sales agent niyo Say, so, for example, uh, kasi normally, you would think agad magkano ba yung ano, magkano ba yung total contract price. That's good, pero mas maganda tanungin nyo agad-agad is, how much ba yung monthly, say, 20 years? So, pag sinabi ni agent na yung 20 years yan is 10,000 naman, ah, uh, okay, you have an idea na 30,000 yung monthly ko na dapat na salary. Of course, hindi naman ibig sabihin na, te- na 30,000 yung salary. Tapos, below 30,000 ga hindi ka na pwedeng kumuha ng bahay na yun. Not necessarily. As long as meron kang co-borrower na, that you can combine your salary, uh, para umabot, umabot yung salary nyo sa requirement, pwede po yun. So, it could be your parents, uh, yung maging kakubarower ninyo, yung asawa po natin, kapatid, or anak. Yan. Okay. Um, let's check. Okay, may tanong tayo. Let's let's read. Uh, ano ba to? Ah, okay. All right. So we have another question here. Um, OFW uh, nasa ano po? Nasa Dubai. Paano daw siya makakuha ng ng bahay yan? Well. Uh, well, pwede pwede po. Kahit nasa labas kayo ng Pilipinas, pwede po kayong kumuha ng bahay. Uh, mag-assign lang po kayo ng isang representative dito sa Pilipinas. Si yung trusted friend nyo, or kamag-anak ninyo, or asawa ninyo. However, i-assign nyo lang po siya at uh, meron po kayong mga uh, pipirmahang, meron pipirmahang uh, or i-fill up na form yung representative po ninyo dito. Okay, siya na po yung magre-reserve in your behalf. Tapos, later on, meron din kayong pipirmahan. Uh, papadala po namin yung form sa inyo. Uh, tapos, uh, you will sign it and send it back to us. So, pwede, pwede po. I mean, if, you're, if, you're, if you really want to buy a house now, kahit nasa ibang bansa kayo, pwede, pwede po. You just have to, uh, just to assign a representative at bahala na po yung agent na tumulong sa inyo. Anyway, uh, yung forms na yun, uh, ang pinakamagandang ano dyan, pinakamagandang uh, arrangement dyan is that i-coordinate with your agent. So, paano ba mapipirmahan ng representative ko sa Pilipinas yung mga form na yan? And at the same time, paano mapapadala yung form na yan sa akin uh, para ma-sign ko rin? So, yun. It should be easy. I mean, Technology is very and I mean, accessible, di ba? It can, yung mga forms yan, can send via email. Kahit sa Facebook, pwede nyo nang isend yan. So, no problem. If you're working in, in, in uh, as an OFW in any other countries, pwede, pwede po kayong mag uh, book ng reservation. Okay? Let's check for other questions here. Wait lang. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ayan, how soon daw makakalipat? How soon? Maganda question. Maraming tatanong po nyan. Uh, how soon can you can you move in? So, depende. For pre-selling units, it can take up to 6 to 12 months. Uh, depende sa construction status. So, that's number one. It could be 6 to 12 months. Pero may mga prerequisite pa rin po yan. Siyempre, if you have, um, say, yung requirements po natin, kailangan kompleto. So, make sure na you've already submitted all your requirements. And once submitted, we just have to wait to complete yung down payment at at the same time approval or yung loan take out so yan so 6 to 12 months 
or it could be 15 months that's for uh that's for for pre-selling units now for RFO yung kanina natin kanina natin din discuss it can be um mas mabilis pa siguro 3 to 6 months pinakamatagal na po yan so as long as complete yung requirements natin down payment is fully settled loan take out na ng bank or or pagibig whatever you can easily um uh move in so yan pre-selling RFO yun lang yung pagkakaiba niya sa moving natin. Okay? Alright. Alright. So, I think yung iba dito, almost nasagutan natin yung mga tanong kasi pare-pareho lang naman. So, nagbago lang sa the way they've they've uh, yung structure na kanilang question para parang so, I think nasagot na rin natin ito. Okay. Okay. So, I, I think that's it. So, so, for now, we'll be ending our Facebook live session. Thank you for thank you for those questions yung mga private message na na-receive natin. So, um, if you still have additional questions once we end this video, or you're watching this, and later on, post your comments here in this video. You can private message me sa Facebook page ko, Hanna Bay sa Lancaster New City. Go to my YouTube uh, channel. You can also comment on those on the videos that I posted, pwede kayo mag-post ng question doon. And also, you can message me in my phone, my cell phone number, Viber, WhatsApp, that's 63916-598-5107. So, again, for all those who are still uh, looking for... Yeah, so for all those who are for those home buyers out there looking for for houses in Cavite near Mall of Asia or near the airport accessible to accessible sa lahat ng mga commercial establishment uh, etc sa school church uh, you can message me uh, anytime I'm always online naman so yun po again thank you for all those who have joined our Facebook live session and hopefully to see you soon next week sa uh, uh, Facebook live session natin so please please uh, uh, send in your questions para masagot natin agad agad para matulungan natin ngayong makahanap ng bahay so for for all those who have watched thank you very much and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.